This project began when I was sitting in a room with some students and one of them mentioned that they had seen what they called the world's smallest Bible being built on a chip. So we got to talking about it and decided, well, we might as well do the world's smallest Book of Mormon and who else is going to do it but uh, people at BYU. We as professors come up with the ideas and uh, concepts, but it's really the students doing most of the work and the everyday tasks of, of making it. Creating these chips was really a, a straightforward process for us. It's something that we do all day, every day. The only challenge was getting that text from the Book of Mormon and converting it into these characters that we use. There can be unknowns and there can be like challenges that we like run into, but we just kind of keep trying new things and pushing forward to make these things happen. I think engineering in basic terms is just using math and science to solve real world problems. And so a lot of the projects that we work on here at BYU, they're kind of just ideas that came into life. And so they kind of do involve that creativity. There's a lot of unknowns, um, but we try to find solutions and ultimately our goal is to better our quality of life. Okay, so this project was interesting because it combines what I know as a scientist, as a researcher, and an engineer with my specific faith and uh, the Book of Mormon and, and the text of that book. And it's something that is really special to me and to everyone here at BYU. These things also denote that there is a God and that there is like a loving Heavenly Father who lives and but they're microscopic like they're things that can't be seen to the naked eye and I think it just goes to further testify that his hand is in all things and like whether they be like super small or super big and whether we see them or whether we don't like he is in the details of our lives and he is there.